Okay, uh, Tina and Kyle have a couple uh, questions here, similar. Um, what advice do you have for someone that uh, just isn't getting the NCARB way of asking questions? Am I reading too much into these questions or not enough? And Kyle, what is the best way to study for a CDNS, um, especially in the two areas of uh, construction drawings and project manual and project practice and management? Um, so Tina, I'm gonna essentially say uh, exactly what we just said to the last uh, thing, if last question. Um, if the issue is whether you're overthinking it, you probably are. Um, I would really just try to focus on kind of narrowing down what the question is really about. Um, and also, you know, think about how fast these questions need to be gone through. Like if you have uh, 90 questions in, um, you know, 100 minutes or uh, 90 questions in, in 80 minutes or something, uh, you know, that's right about one minute per question. So you really need to be answering these things in about 45 seconds, something like that. Each question, each exam is a little different, so look at it for yourself about finding those numbers, but, um, but that's pretty fast. And if you find yourself working on a question uh, in that kind of scenario and it's taking you a minute, a minute and a half, two minutes, you know, guess and move on. Um, it's, it's not, any one question is not important enough to throw your game off for the rest of the questions. Um, so again, don't overread into it, don't over worry about it. Just take the questions as best you can. Eventually, you'll get the right bunch of questions and you'll be able to answer them. Okay, Kyle's uh, thing about uh, construction drawing and project manual and the project pr and practice management. Um, this one, absolutely the go-to spot to study for this is the uh, book that the AIA puts out, which is called the uh, um, Handbook for P Professional Practice. There are about 15 different versions of it. There's a student version, there's like a big version, there's like a slim kind of summary version. There's, there's a whole bunch of different versions. Really, any of them will be fine. The one thing I would say is um, uh, they redo the uh, contracts every 10 years on the seven. So the last time was in 2007. The next time will be in 2017. Uh, and so if you're using one from 2004 or 2002 or something, uh, you, you know, take some of the specifics a little bit with a grain of salt. They're, they're likely to be slightly different, not much different, but slightly different than a more current one. Um, but I guarantee either the office you work in has a copy of this, or you can go borrow it from the local AIA office or somebody you know, a friend has a copy because the office they have, that they work in has it. You can find a copy of this book, absolutely, Handbook of Professional Practice. Almost all of the questions are straight out of there for those, those portions of the exam. Um, it doesn't mean it'll be a straight, you know, read page 15 and that's the answer to, to question number six. Um, it, you know, you have to kind of think it through but the, the gist of the information is all in there. It's also a great book to have. Um, I think the student version is like maybe 60 bucks or 70 bucks, and the more professional versions are probably in the kind of 120, 140 range, something like that. Um, I haven't bought one for a little while, but it's something along those lines. Um, uh, so absolutely get your hands on, on those. Newer the better. Um, if you are just starting the process, uh, I'm sure the new ones for 2017 will be even better because they'll include the newest version of the contracts. Mm -hmm.